Howdy! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Beefalo Bart here, and this is a deviation from the Let's Play. I want to join back into my main account and cover some of the basic changes that we'll see in patch 1.7 now that it is live. Now, the number one thing that's been plaguing me was the Seeker nerf, and it really isn't going to be that much of a problem for the way I've got my character built, because only the Airburst Seeker was actually the one that was nerfed. The Cluster Seeker was not, and this is the one that I use in PvE is the Cluster. I don't use the Airburst as much, and I won't use it again until they actually unnerf it, because it's just not worth using right now. But the Cluster, it has a great benefit, and it causes a bleed effect, and it's just very useful overall, and you'll see I'll play a little bit just to, to demonstrate that it's not worthless anymore. So, I've gone into a full privacy mode, so I should not be interrupted. And I see someone standing behind me that's showing off, yes, you've got the full spacesuit. Here. Golf clap. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is I'll walk around the base of operations, show you some of the new stuff. Um, this account pretty much has everything except for Season Pass. So, unlike the other account, which is just a basic, normal account. On appearance-wise, I've got a few more things on appearance and a few more things for cosmetics on this account. But, moving right along, again, we'll notice that um, the Hi. premium vendor has the look. new caches. So you, you talk to him, and I've already used the ball of mine. So the encrypted caches, you can actually buy new keys with real money using your your premium credits. But I don't have any of the keys, so I'm not gonna be able to get any caches right now. Sorry, we couldn't do business. You've got, of course, all those are the same. Still got a matchmaking terminal right over there. Um, global events. There's five days left. Oh no, I need 832 more to, to purchase. I currently have 68 global event credits. 68. That's something to remember. You can go over and talk to the. Uh, this guy here and it tells you how many cleaners you've killed and headshots and blah 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 your mission progress and what you've completed your commendations I've got 7 out of 15 your kills and your conduct how many times I've been downed <laughs> hey I'm a squishy what can I say how many times that I've been dead how many revives that I've made and how many times I've been revived um Numbers really don't add up all that great, but whatever. And you got a leaderboard. I have no idea what my uh, progress is, but 36.16. Yep, that's where I'm at right now. Whatever. Not really concerned all that much. And this is where you buy the caches. And this tells you what the, uh, the current status is. It's Outbreak. It's always active, and headshot kills increase headshot damage for a duration. So if you make a headshot within a short duration afterwards, you get a, a really nice bonus for headshot damage. I've had some headshot damage of over 2.1 million damage. It's pretty cool. Um, severe outbreak. The targets are contagious. Now you don't have to use these, but you get more global events credits for having them active. And I'll show you that here very shortly of how to activate them. But whenever the enemy get close enough to you, they're diseased and you will drain health really quickly. They will kill you in a very, very short amount of time just by being close to you. Now, with Critical Outbreak, and this is the mode that I'm going to use, you're going to have both of the ones above it, but you'll also get the, the fact that if you're in a group, and if I make a headshot, and then you make a headshot, it's an instant kill. You could have the hardest boss in, in the entire game out there, and you can take the weakest freaking pistol you've got, and your buddy can take a shot with a weak pistol and make a headshot. You follow up with a headshot with a really weak pistol, and big boss dead instant kill so <laughs> really awesome great for clearing missions you kill anything by you and your partner both making um, headshots so really cool now daily high value targets 
Now they did raise a target intel, but it's 500 now. If I were to do Komodo, I'm going to get 100 global event credits. Stony, get 175 for Katowski. Brownie, 175. Tweaker, 225. And 225 for Sicilian. Now you go over to the weekly. Yeah, 400 for this. 400. 650. 650. 550. I don't know why I went down. Um, 550. 750, 750. So those are pretty decent just for going through and killing those guys. Now, with the patches, real quick. The patch that I'm wearing on my sleeve right now is one of the most difficult to get. It was the Pistol Pete Achievement. You go to your appearance and patches. It's called the Gunslinger Patch. Now, one man side army. Essentially, what that means is to get this patch. You have to do all of the global event missions with pistols only. No other weapons but a pistol. Thankfully, thankfully, you can actually use skills to actually accommodate the, the killing. So, having this build, <laughs> almost all of my kills were made exclusively with skills, but I made sure to shoot a few of them with a pistol so that I got credit for it. And with the the team effort of me being with somebody else that was going for the same achievement at the same time, I make a headshot, they make a headshot, target's dead. So it actually worked out pretty good. So looking at the map, you're going to have a few select targets or areas, which I'll go to one here shortly. I want to continue to walk around the base. Amherst Department, Dragon's Nest, which was really a pain in the ass to do with a pistol, Hudson Refugee Camp, Napalm and Subway Morgue. Now, since we know that Napalm has different difficulties, we look at normal. It's going to give you 150, just base 150 global event credits. 225 for hard. Legendary is going to give you 1575. Legendary is a pain in the ass to get done, so it is tough to do. But with a good group, you can muddle through and get it taken care of. Especially since when you're trying to take out the final four bosses, all you got to do is get two people to make headshots, target dead. So, in a way, the final fight's a lot easier, but in a way, it's still it's a tough mission. It, it's, it's doable, and it's a quick 1,575 credits if you don't mind spending 25, 30 minutes doing it with a respectable team. Now, I'm not going to do that one. But if you look, a lot of people have been farming Lexington. Now, Lexington Event Center, even though it's not part of the global event missions, if I come over here and select that one, normal mode is going to give me 150. The hard is going to give me 225. And challenging is only going to give me 750. Now, the difference here, whenever I select this, we'll say is legendary. That's 1575. I'm going to select that. Now, by doing Outbreak, I don't get a bonus. Severe Outbreak, I can get an additional 175, whereas the same thing for crucial or Critical out, uh, Outbreak. Now, if you're going to do it, you might as well do this one. There's no point in just doing the, the, the middle one or none at all. Now, also killing a named Elite is going to give you Global Event Credits. So, since you have four bosses at the end, each one of those four, if you can get to them before you burn to death, or get killed by the NPCs being too close and, you know, killing you with their virus, uh, but if you can collect them, you'll pick up additional um, global event credits for the kill on them, but you have to retrieve it from them. What I've found is people have their own method of farming. Since a decent group can farm Lexington Event Center in about 10 minutes, um, it's a pretty quick way to, to farm the credits. So you'll have a lot of people that are just farming on, on Lex. Another thing that I noticed here was they've added a, uh, a stash to the shooting range, which is nice. For those who don't know, if you go to the middle stall, you actually get a shooting event. You can actually practice shooting at moving targets and stuff. I'm not going to do that. That's been in the game for a while, but... 
Um, base of operations wise, I think that's all the the differences. I don't remember those wires being right there. Doc Candles um, for a lot of new gear since you read those notes you bought. I don't think there's any other cosmetic things that are that are different inside the base of operations. I haven't looked a whole lot, but and like I said the terminal, you got the global event open, and you've got the bathroom, which is where you can change your appearance. So you can go inside and do that. So farming wise, you can do any mission. I could do Madison Field Hospital and get global event credits. You want a mission that's going to be fast. If you just want a solo farm, especially if you're like me and have a, a high seeker build essentially, you pick a mission that you know that you can complete quickly with little chance of having to deal with the plague, so to speak, the, the virus affecting you. So what I've found is Honestly, I can come over here and do Amherst. Run it on hard. Get the 225 and go that way. Plus you get the bonus, which let's go ahead and look at it. Run it on hard and do critical. You're going to get 300 global event credits. Now, I'll go ahead and do it real quick because I can knock this out in about eight minutes. On regular mode, you're going to get less credits, but if you're doing a run for less than 300, it's kind of a waste of time. So, to do the mission in roughly eight minutes. Like the place uh, on fire. The mouth is, and I should do it. Suspect? That's generous. Innocent until proven guilty? Please, I've met the guy. Those cleaner bastards have a collective psychosis. They better not kill with them. Alright, so these guys are pretty much done for now. and drop my turret. Really not worried about loot. It's all about those global event credits. I found that taking the low road, they never really explore, explore all that much, but taking the low road, I can come over here. You usually have to deal with the sniper that's all the way on the far side. They haven't and you can take your time. Yet. Thank God. I'd love to talk to one of these cleaners sometime. And actually partially do it. Partially to find out what makes them tick, and partially to strangle them slowly while they hold me. But not really worth the effort. If you leave them alone long enough, not paying attention here. If you don't engage the sniper and you just engage the ones that are close up with, you know, the turret, the seekers, they will at some point come to you. And if not, you can actually just go ahead and pop that tank and let it bleed for a little bit. Oh, I have a secret star. Alright, so I just got this retard to deal with. And I'm going to use my guns here instead of just courtyard. doing skill only or whatever. It looks like the direct route is blocked. You'll have to find another way there. Really? There's only one way there. Shut up. So, it's all about timing. Knowing where everything spawns. I used a first aid kit, so I'm going to run here. Let's get out. Hurry! Send kid. someone out to round up any survivors and get them back here safely. You're clearing a path for them, so just keep going. Clearing a path for them? Okay. Spray and pray. Oh, 
gotta work hard to get work smart. The apartment is upstairs. If Amherst is the author of the virus, he must have left some evidence. People like that look for the proof of what they've done. Yep, so I'm finally running this one. My average times are about seven minutes and thirty-eight seconds for running this in hard mode. It might have been looted, but whoever was in there probably wasn't looking for documents or hard drives. You know, you don't have to worry about fighting a team, you don't have to worry about, you know bring him in so I can ask a few random groups or we won't get trying to find an extra person. We never do. Coordinating okay, who's gonna run reclaimer, who's gonna run heels? Who's gonna do that? You I know hope what? you found what we're if looking you just for. Want to spend some time alone. So I routed an extraction. Oh, would you hurry you. up and shut up, Faye? Nobody cares. It Nobody cares. Down. Shut up. Don't Nobody play with cares. fire. Shut up. Get shut the up. evidence back here fire. safely. I'm gonna run with scissors. I'm gonna do everything you don't want me to do. So. Having this high skill build allows me to get in here and do these kind of things where I can power run through these missions. Pretty quickly, because with that secret mine, it's just wreaking havoc. I can run through. Keep it up, agents. We need that rooftop cleared so under we can eight minutes the each time. Like I said, if you just want to casually farm credits, this is probably the easiest way to go. Um, just pay attention to what you're doing, and it's no problem. If you're not running a skill build, you just play to your your strength. You know, I usually run over here. Take this position. Just right. Drop the turret right there. Put a seeker. And just do your thing. Do those damn grenadiers. Now, the one thing I've noticed on this, you want to go ahead and try to clear everything. Normally this chopper is Don't pick worry up about the chopper. The chopper's gonna come in. When it does show up, you got five material. minutes. You've got time. For the current off, we'll make an exception. And I, I'm so glad you're going to make an exception. So we can clear these guys. Get them all dead. Use hit points. Alright, chopper is here. Clear these guys. Now, since these guys are all dead, the one thing you're gonna have to remember with this outbreak thing, the disease. Light out. This is Uber Two. Ready to retrieve the package. There's gonna be a problem because there is spawns right down here. There's a room to the left, right there, and that's gonna actually spawn somebody. So what I like to do is to run a seeker. Run over here and run back. See that contamination takes effect pretty damn quickly. Go ahead and kill them. See I still got plenty of time to get over here. Extract. Now I'm getting my secondary or my final spawns. They're coming in, so I need to go ahead and finish with that. Take cover, run back, Light resume out, my previous two. position. And we are Keep your head down, throw seekers and turrets. Game over. So, doing it that way, you take very minimal damage, really, you asshole. The nerve. I'm sitting here trying to have a conversation, this guy's going to throw a grenade in. So, boss dead, 75G for doing that. I know we took civilian losses, but there would have been a lot more if you had I got 75 GE Excellent work, agents. 300 there. So... That's it. At this point, just pick up the loot if it matters. Do a basic resupply. I've already resupplied our med kits. And I'll walk over here and loot from him. Just picked up 25 more GE. So now I am sitting at 393. So it is not a lot, but it's casual. It's easy. It doesn't take, but really and truly about eight minutes to to plow through this 
pretty easily. Uh, if you've gone through and you've put together a high skill build such as mine, it allows you to farm through missions so easily. So for us old fat people that don't know shit, that have no skill, are we done yet? Thank you. Oh, that's actually not bad. Where'd it go? Recovered. I'm not going to use it, but not a bad roll. We'll actually do Lexington. Now, doing Lexington, Le just for, for giggles, run it in normal mode with this setup right here. It's not really worth the time to do it in normal mode. You should probably go ahead and do it in hard mode. It's not going to be that much more difficult or time consuming to do it. But just to show you about taking the Rikers what I'm talking about in normal mode no with this setup. She's the one who organized the escape to Manhattan. Run out here. Go a secret. Of my people there. If you the lid off, I'd be great. Oh, I'm dead. Alright. Get them out first, but don't jeopardize the mission. We're going in on your heels. The jailbreak ends here. Mm -hmm. Your opening speech took longer than my first batch of bad guys. You go to the second part, and like I said, running this, this seeker build, it is ridiculous easy to, to do normal mode. Not a very good use of time, but I'm going to drop this seeker out. I'm going to turret out. Even though I'm probably not even going to use that turret. It's a fail save, so if anything gets close, bang, problems that not taken care of. First wave is already dead. With the fast 50% skill haste, you can see how quick my seeker's coming back. And as soon as it's back, boom, drop it out. I don't even have my hands on the keyboard and mouse. All right, that wave is dead. That's one secret deployed, six enemies killed. Per secret deployment. And then I can just throw out another seeker. My turret really is only engaged on one person. Alright. And that's it. That whole first stage is done with what, three seekers? You know, it's just like ridiculous. Okay, a lot of people are going to say, well, it's overpowered. I'm in World Tier 5 on normal difficulty. Nobody plays it normal difficulty to begin with. Readings indicated but whatever you're bored or you're tired, you just don't feel like a heavy grind, you just want to screw around, this is this is fine. Because, I mean, you're not under pressure. It's almost... Yeah, I don't even need anything. I'm gonna use my, I haven't used my gun yet. Um, if you're just wanting to have something to do. This is an STD. Something to do. This actually gives you something to do that you can farm credits while you're just goofing off. This is not a serious grind. This is not whatever. You can make a whole lot more to eat the per is being held on the roof. You need to clear it out. Global event credit per minute of, of time spent. Yeah, you can do better. But damn it, isn't that fun though? With low firearms. Low. I mean, this is. Let's go there. Bye bye. Bye. You're all dead. So. I could use my gun here. I could actually use this um, turret. So I don't actually have to use my gun. Seriously? You're not gonna work? You were a very useful turret, weren't you? You're gonna make me have to use my gun? <sighs> hey, look, sniper. She was shooting my turret. Peekaboo. You're gonna end me? Really? Oh, I don't think so. Take a nap. You'll be okay. 
Like I said, I mean, you can do a whole lot better for if you sit down and figure your math. Oh, well, I can get, um, you know, 25 um, GE per minute, or, you know, who cares? If you just want to screw around and have fun, this build lets you do so. You know, so this is easy mode. This is just not even a challenge. This is just whatever. So I'll deploy a turret. Negative, Ramos. Seeker. You've got this. Find a secure position and hunker down. I'm not going to do the, um... And that's in order, Sergeant. Incendiary. Prep a grenade. Warning. Incoming. Go with LMG. Assault rifle. Loud here. I just heard about Ramos, Captain. Glad we reached him in time. Same time. My people Come are on. getting into position to breach the hall. You always want to breach Agent, somebody's hole. Shut up and open the elevator. Access. Come on. The building open the elevator. Waiting for Ramos, waiting for, for this stupid the elevator. It takes up more time than anything else in this whole mission. And doing it like this. Alright, come on. Come on. Waste more time doing these. Waiting for a door to open. Waiting for someone to walk to a certain location. Or cutscene stuff. Having to watch a... Uh, an echo, whatever, you know, those things are kind of a waste of time. If you're trying to do speed runs, who needs those kind of slowdowns? And this is a waste of a seeker right here. Deploy a seeker, group dead. Warning, additional hostiles in band. Keep fire, we'll force them out. Alright, that section's done. Then I gotta go over here, activate the keyboard, wait for a door to be unlocked. Open the door for the JTF back up. So far they so good. Do shit. My strike squads are moving Open in. The door. They'll reach the Open main the door. hall on your safety. Open the door, quit wasting time. So still like that, the the slowdowns that are mission related slowdown that you just can't avoid. So if you're trying to do a speed run, you might as well do this on hard mode if you're gonna do it with this setup. Yeah, you, know, you could do your uh, my favorite thing to do is when you have snipers to deal with. And in normal you're not gonna have them. So sometimes actually you do, but you can set up, shoot your snipers, be done with it. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. So we know that Dorcas is going to run up there. And she's going to throw grenades down, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. And their magic grenade launcher that you don't get to have. She's using a, an M32 or M32A1 or whatever. It is a. Um, Six shot grenade launcher, and her shot is absolutely impeccable. Hey, Dick. Make me use a med kit on normal difficulty. So I'm going to change over to severe grenade. This, do this, she's dead, and Seeker's back, does so Seeker and Turret, those guys are dead. And done. Uh, so, it's it it just uh, a game walk. Yeah, you broke your spine, kid. Yeah, let's just head. waste a make kit whenever you're trying to hit your inventory. Quite done you're with them such yet, an idiot. But at least now we can get these JTF folks. <sighs> oh yeah. 
I need my people alive. Like I said, if you want to run this in, in hard mode, God knows it's we the can't same. Afford to lose any it's more not personnel. much more difficult. I owe you, Agent. You add one heavy gunner on the rooftop, whereas you don't have any in normal, whereas you have two in the the hardest difficult and challenging. Um, it's not a heck of a lot. See, I'm up only up to 560. That was just a, a cakewalk run. It wasn't meant to be a serious run. You know, if you want to do solo speed runs and try to get the most out of each run, then I would say probably... Uh, no. Um, Hammer Amherst. You can do that one in, in under 8 minutes and get 375... I'm right at 400 um, global event credits per run. So it equals out about the same as if you go through and get a so-so group and farm Lexington, you know. We or just brought in another load of polystyrene. Napalm. You good? Yeah, Napalm is an, not a bad mission to do, but it really sucks if you've got a bad group. Same thing with Dragon's Nest. Um, Subway Morgue with skill build. I'm basing this all off of my skill build. Um, running it through... You can pretty much don't have to worry about the outbreak. You don't know the disease all that much. I believe the only spot where it comes close is when you're trying to plug the fuse in to the last fuse. The one where you're, you walk it up and then you got the two melee guys that come down. There's three separate spawns. The melee guys are the final spawn. Good placement of a turret, maybe a seeker mine. You, you do your prior setup, stage each one then it's not so bad but run through on subway morgue with skill build like mine um, definitely under 10 minutes uh, napalm on hard mode eh, 10 minutes or so that's some refugee camp definitely under 10 minutes you know Dragon's Nest. If you do Dragon's Nest in Heroic, it's going to be 900 plus 175 for Critical Outbreak. Yeah, I get an exotic cash because of, you know, I haven't done this one yet for this week. I can't wait for my the roller to take a break. is on Fridays. Who's that? Who that? That's Bravo. Or winner of my um, nobody's able to join my group. I just wanted to have a little bit of eh, me time. The normal, roughly about 300 per run. Norm, I am sorry. Normal is about 250 with the bonuses or whatever. Um, hard. I say you can burn through about 300 per run. So every 10 minutes. It's just however you want to do it. I mean, if you want to be in a group, then farming Lexington in challenging mode, bang, you can run through 12 minutes, average 20 minutes, depending on your group. You can go faster. Trust me, you can get good groups and actually blow through it quickly. Um, you can do incursions. Like Clear Sky, there's a lot of groups that can do Clear Sky in five minutes. And if you got a group that can do clear sky in five minutes, there's 900. So on signal, ugh, 900. Uh, Man, I can't wait for Dragon's my Nest, take a heroic, with the critical, you're roughly around 11, some change after all the bonuses. But if you just want to go solo for speed, Man. Amherst is going to be the fastest. Hudson is not going to be bad. You know, Hudson, you can go through, run it in hard mode. Challenging mode is not that bad, except for the very end fight. The very end fight, where you've got all those rushers that come up, is where it's going to get really difficult. Because with the outbreak, they're just going to rip your butt apart. But for the essence of speed, I'm going to say that, um... Oh, get off me. Amherst is the fastest, and... Get this apartment block cleaned up. Please! 
if you're just trying to do solo. This Amherst apartment in hard mode with the highest critical on it is your best overall because, like I said, with a good skill build, you run up, bang, 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 bang. Under eight minutes, you just made it. It looks like the place is on fire. We need to investigate the suspect apartment while it's still in the Suspect? That's generous. Come on, die. Die. Innocent Thank you. until proven guilty. Next Please, bomb. I've Come met on. the guy. Those clear bastards have a collective psychosis. They better Occasionally you'll get uh, some street bombs. Oh, you guys are nice. They'll come in from the fight that's going on over here. There's two different... Oh god, I hate when people on YouTube do this crap. Give you a brain aneurysm. But what'll happen is there's a group... Two groups of uh, NPCs. Two rival gangs that'll actually be having a, a gang war. And sometimes they will aggro and come across. But... For the most part, you don't have much to worry about. Seeker, turret, and this time, not last time, I'm going to ignore the sniper over there. There's no point because the sniper's going to get bored because they don't have anything to shoot at. They can't see me, they can't get a shot on me. They're going to get down from up there, and a lot of times they will actually come after me, and then they'll get within seeker range. Which works. Ah, damn it. Okay. If they don't, whatever. I'd better try to the boss. Oh, you're such a pain in the ass. Burn. Game, see him. I didn't want to waste the game seeker because I've already like got my tactician stacked up to 30, we'll to find way and it's kind of a waste of time. A waste of all that resource and points. I think for this time I'm actually going to run over here and use the sniper to take out the first... No, I'm going to take it. Because we'll my dumbass can't pick it up because I already picked up last time and it hasn't been sent. Alright, now we'll burn Seeker. Get back. You're dead. You're dead. Oh. Over here. Turret. Good about that guy. We told you to come down here. No, I can sit here and play peekaboo and I'm gonna shoot you. Yeah, screw that. Secret time. Avoid idiot's grenade. The apartment Jump is over. upstairs. If we'll Amherst turret. is the author of the virus, he must have left some evidence. And I'm rock and roll. People like that don't destroy the proof of what they've done. Sure they do. Shut up. Alright, developers. Give us an option, please. Pretty please. Damn it. To actually disable the in mission. Have Once you've around. completed it might have been looted, mission. but whoever was in there probably wasn't looking for documents. I didn't want to hear Faye Lau's voice ever Amherst again. There. Now that I'm level Amherst, thirty, so I can ask a few. I don't want to hear. We won't get that lucky. I don't want to hear Jessica Kindle do. or well, I don't want to hear you. anybody. I don't want to hear those, you know, voices. I hope you found what we're looking for. Right. I don't want to hear. Priority, it. Shut so up, Faye. Um, for you. But you'll have to secure the rooftop before it can touch down. Don't for people who fire. want to live stream Get the evidence back here safely. or record, it would be nice if we had an option to disable that chat. Just saying. Come on. Come on. Aww. You're all bleeding. You're bleeding. Oh no. Oh, oh, you died. Oh, you died too. Stupid division tricks. Balloons. 
You can shoot him. It's kind of an unusual effect of it, like changing shape. But you can shoot the balloons. Keep it up, agent. We need that room to so we can There's a lot of stuff you can actually shoot. Let's break out a snipper. I said a snipper. I said a snipper. Damn it, what the hell's wrong with you? I just selected three times? I'm trying to make headshots here. Well, yeah, the famous. Not as cloudy this time. Not much fog. Normally, this chopper is for pickups from the dark zone only, pulling out highly contaminated material. Sure, shoot somebody in the head with a sniper rifle and get a headshot credit. We'll make an exception. Random sprays with a FAMAS and I'm getting headshots. All right, you can get back. I don't mind kicking out secrets whenever I get such a, a fast uh, uh, respawn or skill haste. Come on. Get a fresh turret up. You ass. Hole. Just blow up. White House, Super Two, ready to retrieve the package. Now who told you you could jump down? Oh, you just hold that helicopter right there. Ain't nobody spawned yet. Just the front half of it, so die already. Jeez. All right, I'm gonna get the next spawn. Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Thank you. Lighthouse, this is Bluebird Two. Hey, my turn. Yes, please return to base. Bluebird Two out. Yes, please return to base. That'd be lovely. Hey, Rogan, you got no help? How about this? Enjoy a secret mine. Supposed to come right over here, idiot. You never run over there. The nerve of these freaking NPCs not behaving. The chopper with the evidence is inbound on HQ. So, I know we took okay. civilian losses, but there would have been a lot more if you hadn't been there. Excellent. This work, for a solo you. grind is probably the easiest overall to farm for global event credits. It is not the best, but it's the easiest. So, have your doubts. You can see I can clear this eight minutes, no issues. Less chances to screw up, so to speak. Oh, I've got to clean out this inventory. Oh, i got to clean out some of this junk. There's a lot of crap there. i got to get rid of that stuff. Quit being a pack rat. Like that in real life. Want either any of this garbo? Eh. Gone. 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 Hey, I didn't get that in the uh, out of my inventory and put it back in my stash. That's a classified gear item. Whole thing about that is you can actually roll, say the the firearms and the marksmanship rifle damage or whatever you can roll two things on it instead of one so it is kind of nice to, to have the ability to roll two and what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably end up going in doing some runs with friends doing some black runs just going along with everybody else and doing the usual thing so I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream this has been long enough I don't want to bore everybody to death um, what I'll end up doing is probably doing some Lexington runs. Or I'll probably do something else. Just because I feel like it. Ugh. I need more cipher fragments. 
but the global event's going on for five more days, so the only thing that really is motivating anybody right now, the fact that 1.7 is out, is everybody's trying to get classified gear items, and the only way to get it is to farm for global event credits to go in there and buy the global event cash. And of the global event caches, or the outbreak cash, or superior outbreak, the superior is the only one that's going to give you classified gear set. Um, you don't get a chance of getting with. Here I go with this stupid shit here. I hate when people do that on YouTube. So why should I do it? You're not going to get the classified gear set or anything great. So don't waste the time. Spend the extra 600 and get the superior outbreak cash because you're going to get two gear set items or you'll get a gear set and an exotic or an exotic and a classified or two classifieds and you get a chance for getting a third item so you may get two classifieds and an exotic from one roll who knows or two exotics or three ex whatever you know the um the best way to go is go ahead and get 1500 and buy these don't waste your time with the regular outback a outback outbreak cash they're a complete waste of time i didn't know why they even put them in there if you waste your money on them shame on you so like i said get up to 1500 get those screw those screw you guys i'm going home oh pretty cowboy hat so Hope I didn't bore you too much, and like I said, this was just a quick walk around to show what's new in 1.7, and the casual way of slow farming the, uh, the credits. If you want to speed farm, I can do a video on speed farming, a little bit higher GE per minute, so to speak, which is probably going to be doing Lexington uh, challenging mode, get you a good two or three man group, and just plow through it. Two people, not too bad of a problem. Three people, eh, not so bad. I wouldn't really bother doing a four-man team. A good two or three-man team, you can blow through Lexington Challenging in no time whatsoever and just keep over and over and over. It's very repetitive. It's called farming for a reason. Um, it can be boring, but if you want the fastest rate of getting global event credits, Lexington Challenging with a two or three-man group and just do it. The global event once it's over with, everybody's going to go back to normal. People are going to start settling into their gear sets. And like I said, if you don't know by now, I'm actually still using my tactician set. The Ninja Bike Messenger, and I'm missing one of my performance mods because it's being used on something else right now. The change to the Ninja Bike Messenger bag is phenomenal. It becomes a wild card. Um... Uh, the best way to show you, let's go to a different loadout. Um, yeah, I got to set up on a Predator. So now, by having the Ninja Bike Messenger, it's I've got this one set up for electronics. I can re-roll that and if I, I want it for something else, but that's just the way that one came. I've re-rolled the skill power on there, so I could always re-roll it for something else. I've got another one and it's rolled firearms from the get-go but the whole point of having the ninja bike messenger bag is predator's mark it becomes a wild card and now I've only got a three-piece set equipped but since I have the bag that's acting like a fourth piece giving my immediately the set bonus for four because the ninja is a wild card so now, I didn't look to see what I was doing. Okay, Predator's Mark, gloves and vest. So now I've got a final pair of final measure gloves on. I've got one, one glove on. But since I have the ninja bag, it's giving me the wild card, so it looks like I'm on a two set bonus. Um, if I had. All of these, 
all five of these as different gear set items. If I was running one D3, then it's going to look like I'm doing two. So I'll get the 15% protection from elites, and then I got a predator's mark. So then it's going to give me reload speed, and then I got a final measure on, and then that's going to give me exotic damage resilience. Who knows? I can throw a reclaimer on or a fire crest, and no matter what I'm carrying one of, it's going to give me the wild card I could have on a total of five different pieces and get five different two-piece bonuses going because I've got the wild card, the ninja bike messenger bag. So I could have five separate two-piece bonuses rolling at the same time because of that. So the combinations of things you can do is just out of this world. And I'll, I'll probably end up doing a separate video just on combinations with the ninja bag. It's just mind-blowing all the stuff you can create now because of that wild card. And I hope they don't take it out because it's going to increase the serviceability of all your different gear sets without having them raise the gear score or whatever else. So, yeah, enjoy. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go back to just screwing around and doing some mild farming. I'll find something to waste some Phoenix credits on somewhere because I'm about to hit cap again. So, hope I didn't bore you completely to death, and make sure you subscribe, like, comment, thumbs up, thumbs down, middle finger, whatever. Thanks, and have a good night.